Hi, I'm Jim Milligan. I'm the CEO and a co-founder of Blue Letter Bible. And I am Alan Pearson. As Director of Donor Relations and Development for BLB, I have had the awesome privilege and opportunity to meet with BLB partners all across the USA, from Florida to Alaska. Today, we're going to answer some of the most common questions I've received when meeting with BLB partners and supporters. So Jim, probably the most common question I get when I'm meeting with BLB partners all across the country is, how is it possible BLB is able to do all it does for free? Now, it really doesn't work that way. Tell our viewers exactly how it does work. Well, it is free to our users by design, but there is a cost to running the ministry. And we've been doing the Blue Letter Bible now for about 20 years, but for the first 15, 16 years of the ministry, yeah, there was a different funding model than we currently have today. And to really understand what's happened, we need to go back in history a little bit. In 1995, when Frank Rabinovich and I started the ministry. Coincidentally, we were doing a foundation named Sewing Circle that came along other ministries to help in certain areas. At the beginning, Blue Letter Bible was probably 5% uh, to 10% of the cost of running that uh, ministry. And over time, the funding by Sewing Circle was 90% of their funding. And we realized that we had to do something different, that uh, Sewing Circle was not going to be able to sustain the Blue Letter Bible operations for a long period of time. And so the board of directors of Sewing School decided that what we needed to do was to put BLB off on its own 501c3 to help with fundraising and help identify it for our donors. For 15 years, Sewing Circle funded the ministry and then in about 2012, we decided we had to do something different and that's when we met you know, providentially at a luncheon table and we started talking about fundraising and uh, the guiding principles that we might put in Blue Letter Bible. Sure, so let's talk about those guiding principles a little bit. Uh, for us, first and foremost, we want all of our donors to be led by God to give and not by anything we would ever say or do. Uh, that's number one for us, always will be. The way we look at it, it's all His. It's all His economy. All the money belongs to Him. And if after prayer, a donor is led to give to a different ministry other than Blue Letter Bible, we say hallelujah. We are not in competition with other ministries. Would you say that's rare in the industry of fundraising? Uh, sadly, it is, especially as it pertains to secular nonprofit organizations. But it's not nearly as common as I'd like to see it in Christian ministries either. We take a little bit different approach. Uh, we focus on the donor and the giver rather than the gift. We want to treat all of our partners with the same respect and gratitude, regardless of the size of their gift, because you never know when a very small gift in relationship to potentially other gifts is a widow's might. So again, we try to look at everything from that donor's perspective. And for us, it's all about building a relationship with them. Relationship focused on stewardship and cheerful giving. 